gentlemen, we have a 39.9. 39.944. what my timer says I mean pretty sure circuit timing will say it slower but I'm claiming that as a sub 1 minute 40 lap on tyres which most people would put in the bin not even joking they're well under the wear markers so with a new tyre there's got to be here it's got to be at least a second it has to be but either way buzzing because I finally did it and uh, yeah not going too bad a little unexpected bonus of today is that very kindly, someone who I know has offered to buy me a new rear tyre. It's a SC3 slick. I've never used a slick before or an SC3, but it should have a lot more grip than the knackered SC1 scrubs that I've been using. So, thank you very much. They know they are, but they might not want the name to be said. So, thanks very much.
out so well as you'll see in the footage i went straight out in front of everyone but then everyone else took longer to get out so the best part of the tire you know the first three four laps i had to overtake like two or three bikes each lap still done my pb 39.5 but uh no, yeah. you're doing really well tommy mate i know but i was i had to get past everybody so my name's tommy and i like to ride motorbikes <laughs> And I'm not a Geordie either. <laughs> there we go. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but best lap 39.554, ideal lap 39.393. I do definitely think there was a 38 in there at the beginning. But who cares? That was fucking. It was nice to ride around with some grip, I'll tell you that much. One session left a day. It might happen, I came in and even after a slow cool down lap, and not having the warmer on for you know 30 seconds or so the tire was still half a psi than optimal so i've you know assuming it's lost half a psi and slowing down so i've let one psi out and uh, we'll go again in, in an hour's time 40 minutes time and see if we can do that 38. So here we are on the run down to the braking zone. I use a sort of dark band of tarmac where it changes colours, my braking marker, and it seems as though I hit that as normal. I'm not sure if in the braking zone the bike gets out of shape or not. The hyper smooth on the GoPro makes even the biggest moments look like nothing. So if I've had to reduce brake pressure, that, that explains why I haven't really hit my turning point. As you can see, by the time I get to this point, I have... Well, I'm a long way off the apex um, and being a bit greedy and also obviously quite stupid, I suppose, a silly mistake. I'm still trying to slow the bike down rather than just ride it through the gravel. And then here we go, obviously, I'm on the dusty part of the track, lent over, trailing the brake, trying to scrub the speed off. And the knackered front tyre I was using just says, you know, Oh dear. 
Well, the GoPro managed to survive its little spill through the gravel. I'm fine. Uh, as far as damage to the bike, it was a clip-on, brake lever, brake lever guard. The fairings are pretty battered, exhaust cans pretty bad. Everything's had a good shot blasting off the gravel. Um, however, you get kicked out of the garages at about 20 past 6, which is obviously a pain in the ass if you decide to crash your bike in the last session. Um, so, we're in the hotel room. Um, and we've got bits to fix. So, whoop. there's a body work. As you can see, there's a significant portion of that is missing. It should look like this side. We did go in the gravel, but these were the only bits we could find. I've got my leathers there as well, which need to clean because they're covered in shit, as well as my boots. And my helmet, which, I mean, it had a few crashes and that before, but it's a. Uh, Bin. It's not for the bin. It'll do tomorrow, but then, then it's probably gone in the bin. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't know what else to say really. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's the morning of the last day. Um, it is currently six minutes past eight. Now we'd normally be setting off to the track by now, but it is currently still wet. Don't know how much the camera will pick that up. Probably see how slippery them tiles are. Um, so there's no massive rush. Obviously, we need to go down and get breakfast and uh, pay like the bill, which it should only be one or two items out of the fridge and then 10 euros per day for the parking. So that should be 50 euros. Fingers crossed. You never know. <laughs> I guess you never know. I might. I mean, this original price is supposed to be 19 euros, so they might try and have our pants down, but. Uh, I'm English, so that's not happening. But yeah, a little bit good. It's the last day. Obviously, finished yesterday with a crash. Um, I, I've watched the footage back myself, and I can't remember at the time. I think I blamed the front tire, but the reality is, is that I was overriding the front tire. Uh, I missed so, for whatever reason. I didn't get the bike slowed down enough in the braking zone, and you can see I'm a couple of foot offline. Uh, you know, and still trying to pull it back. Which, yeah, I didn't remember at the time, but that's definitely what happened, so... But I got myself to blame. I shouldn't have been trying to go so fast on tyres. Uh, you know, or, yeah, basically, I shouldn't have been trying to do lap times on the tyres, what I had uh, available to me. But I still got to do some good times. The damage isn't too bad. My helmet is probably the worst thing, but, I mean, that had already had a couple of, couple of scrapes anyway, and I've nearly had two seasons out of it, despite me going through a spell of smashing a helmet every time. Uh, my leathers are ripped open a bit on the knee, but I'm supposed to be getting some new ones beginning next week. So fingers crossed they're fit. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you at the track. There's going to be no onboards for today because, I mean, I'm surprised my GoPro survived. <laughs> but all the mounts and everything are smashed, so unfortunately it's just going to be me talking. I'll see you in a bit. Well, unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to go today, as in on track. The track's damp, but it's really cold today. Um, I would have to be leaving it. Well, there's only two sessions left for me. I could put the wets on, but I just don't think I care that much. A little bit gutting to end the trip like this, obviously, especially off my little jump off yesterday. It would have been nice just to put a few more laps on, but uh, especially seeing as we took the bodywork home to, uh, you know, tape it up and clean the leathers and whatnot. Um, now obviously I've got all this fuel so I'll try and put some in the bike and then I'll put what the rest of it I can fit in the hire car. Hopefully I'll get it all in because I would hate to have to leave petrol after I've paid for it. That would be heartbreaking. But uh, yeah, bit of a shame really. You see that behind me? Yeah, that's the sun and it's been a very rare sight on this visit. It's one o'clock now so my last session would have been gone but obviously as you can see, it's still very much damp dry where the cars have been so it was the right thing to do bikes on the stillage now all loaded up slow drive back to the airport i guess there is a strange cemetery thing which steph was quite keen on going to visit and i've never seen it before they've got like little houses and it's not far from the track so maybe we'll go there not that we're morbid or anything like that but yeah it's been a good trip um to summarize i didn't really have any idea of what a you know a good lap time would be here and even if i did know i knew i was obviously going to be using 
you know, old scrub tyres what I brought with me. Um, it was definitely worthwhile. I mean, I got back into the sort of swing of things sort of halfway through the first day, but even watching a video that I uploaded from the end of the first day, I think it was, what, what was like at 2 minutes 42, you know, there was still a lot to be gained. So in terms of getting some decent track time where you can, you know, start running the bike closer to the edge of the corners and trail breaking in later and things, it was really useful. Um, the gearing I ended up on, so depend on what wheelbase length you want. I ended up on 1544, it's on an R6 with a 180 60 rear tyre. I did change that for a 1647, which is about the same ratio, but just give me a shorter bike, um, which enables you to find a bit more traction, which was quite important because obviously I was using the scrub tyres. The only time I did use a new tyre was when I did actually set my best lap. I did a one minute 39.5 something, um, but that was a SC3 compound slick, so obviously it's not the most, you know, high performing of tyres. Still pretty good, um, but I went out quite early. Well, not early, you know, but as soon as the bell rang, so to speak, I was out the pit lane, but it just meant that I sort of caught, you know, the people who were slow leaving the pit lane quite quickly, and that you know, I used the best of the tyre basically, trying to get through the other riders, so... A 1 minute 38 was definitely in there, but I mean, my front tyres were also shot. I only brought two well-used SC2 fronts with me. Um, I suppose it probably is quite a hard tyre track on tyres in general, because it is really abrasive. Um, everyone was saying it was low grip, but I mean, it felt okay to me, but I've never ridden here when it, you know, has higher grip. Um, I'm sure there's some more things that I'll remember about the trip. I don't know if I said earlier, we got the parking in the hotel in this strange underground dungeon for 10 euros a night. Uh, so that costs us 40, 40 euros. So that's not too bad. And in terms of if you're going to book it either, I would definitely suggest that one. I know it's a little bit more money, but it just means on a night time you can just walk out from the hotel, whereas where the other hotel is, you can need to get taxis or it's a half an hour walk, but... You know, by the time you get back from the track and have a shower and all the rest of it, well, for me, the last thing I want to be doing is spending half an hour to walk to find something to eat, eat my food, and then have to walk half an hour home again. Um, yeah, so any other questions that you've got about the trip, just drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to reply. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for watching, and, you know, stay tuned, follow my channel, I'll be putting all my race... Uh, highlights and stuff on there from the Prelly Super Series which I'll be racing in this year um, and I'm feeling quite confident I'm definitely up for it obviously my bike's a little bit battered now but I was using you know second hand fairings and all the rest of it anyway anyway enough of the rant thanks for watching catch you later we've dropped the car off and it was a wise decision not to take out the insurance because uh, it's came back in fantastic condition um, well not fantastic condition because it was already <laughs> in a bit shit the bodywork but it is a rental but look at the sunshine now Unbelievable, Jeff. Don't forget, hit that button just in the middle there, subscribe to the channel. It's going to be lots of exciting race onboard footage, vlogs from race weekends, which are going to be starting just next weekend. Video on the left hand side, that is the last race from last season. Get amongst it.